What's up guys, Triple M here again and today I just want to go over the Samsung Pay app for the Galaxy S3 Frontier and this is a really nice app. In my opinion, they really thought about this app before they put it together. A um, couple of the key features is the fact that it has a card reader as well as NFC and it also has some security features that I, I think it's a, a really cool. So one of the main features is that it requires you to add a pin to your watch as soon as you set it up. which makes sense if you're wearing a watch that you can pay and buy stuff with you want to have security on there a lot of people complain that the pin um, is annoying and it prompts you to put in your pin during the day and that's fair enough but in my experience it hasn't been a, a nuisance I think a lot of um, youtubers that are reviewing this watch they review it like this on a table and one of the other key features about the security is that it doesn't prompt you during the day if you have the watch on and I'll demonstrate this in a little bit so basically if you have your watch on you unlock it and you're good for the day if you take it off immediately it asks for the pin which I think is a key feature so let's just jump into the overview of the app and I'll show you uh, the security feature here in a second so let me go ahead and unlock the watch And to get to the app, you just go ahead and hit the back button. I'm going to ask you for the pin. And there it is. So I have two cards on it right now. And if you want, if you was to go purchase something, you just hit the pay button at the bottom. And it will give you 30 seconds to count down to pay for that item. To the right, you have a couple. Um, let me zoom in for you. To the right, you have a menu. You have the option to add a card. Introduction version delete a card and you can also reset the app completely the option to add a card what you do is you hit right there and it'll open the app inside your your smartphone and it'll give you the option to add it via um oops. give you the option to add it and it uses the camera to go ahead and set it up which is a really cool touch i believe I'll go back in So let's go back to the main menu. Okay, you have the introduction right here, and then I'll just run through it for you. It shows you that you have to hold and press the top right button right here to get into the app. Rotate to select your card. Press the pay button at the bottom to initiate the um, contact, whether it's via um, magnetic card reader or um, NFC. It shows you that it uses or it's compatible with magnetic card readers. So just hold it up to the Place where you would normally swipe. It also shows you that it has NFC. Okay, let me back out one. Go back in here again. I also have the version information option to delete card. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this lock feature. So, if you go out of here and you just turn off the phone for me to get out of here. You guys can see there's a lock symbol right there above your phone. Okay. So if I was to get back into it, I have to put in my pin. Okay. And if I lock it again, I lock it again. Okay, watch is locked. Go back in, there's another pin. Okay, let me zoom out for a little bit. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and show you guys that it doesn't bug you for the pin as much when you have it on. All right, so it's on my wrist right now. Let me go ahead and put in my pin. A bit. So there's the watch on my wrist, guys. Okay. Make sure you guys can see. Zoom out some more. So here's the watch on my wrist. All right. So if I go ahead and cover it up, open it again, you can see it's still open. I can still get to my apps. But the moment I take it off, and I try to keep this in view for you guys, I'll go ahead and open it for you. The moment I take it off, just watch the lock at the top of the screen. Now watch what happens when I remove it from my wrist. OK, 
guys can see it just locked, right? So if I was to go in there, it'll ask for a pin immediately. And that is the key to this um, Samsung Pay, I believe. And I, I believe Apple does something similar, but that is the key. The moment you take the watch off your wrist, it will require a pin. If you have it on, it's not going to bug you all day for your pin. So um, definitely a, a app that I, I see myself using a lot. Um, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys just to clear up some questions and confusions about this app. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.